Welcome back to my channel. Get the latest money saving hacks and recommendations here as we keep life full, fit and fun. Do you have intermittent problems with your brawn in-ear thermometer too? It's so frustrating. I'm pulling my hair out every time I use it. It works at times and sometimes it doesn't. It blanks out for no reason. Changing batteries didn't help either. I'm about to throw it away. I'm about to buy a new one. But it costs 100 bucks. Oh gosh, that's a lot of money I could spend on delicious food and drinks instead. There must be an easy way out to get this fixed. Yes, there is. Keep watching and we'll be right back after this message. Today's sponsor is Ding Dong Health. Ding Dong has a new product that boosts your health. It's the phony cactus. We have an abundance of it and ever since we coined the phrase, a cactus a day keeps the doctor away, they've been selling like hot cakes. Tis. Cactus, ever since. Get it now. To get started, I will put a piece of cloth on the table so that things don't slide around and parts don't go missing. First, open the cap and remove the batteries. I just trimmed my fingernails. This is proving to be harder than I thought. Okay, the cap's out. Remove the batteries. Put them on a cloth so they don't roll around while we're busy at work. There's a tiny screw here, one and only one that holds everything together. Unscrew it. It looks like we need a really small Allen key or a star head screwdriver, but I don't have those tools. So I'm going to use a flathead watchmaker screwdriver instead. I can't see clearly whether it's an Allen key or star head screw. It's so small. I'm over 40 and have developed crisp biopia in my eyes. Not to mention I also have myopia and astigmatism ever since I was a kid. Really bad eyes. The screw is out. Next, notice this line that runs around the thermometer case. We're going to pry along this line, but there are specific points to pry and knowing where to start helps. Oh, I forgot to remove the cup. No worries, just press the eject button to remove it now. I'm going to use a bigger screwdriver here as it looks stronger. I don't want to break the smaller one. Start here near the blue button. Poke the screwdriver into the line and pry. We may or may not hear a click. We will see a slot hole when the catch is released. Turn the thermometer around and do the same for on the other side. It may take some effort and technique to free the catch. Move down the line to right about here. Hook and pry again. Turn to the other side and do the same. And finally, pry the lowest pair of catches on both sides. We're in. At this point, we should be careful and gentle so we don't drop any loose parts. In this case, the buttons, one white and one blue. Take note of the orientation and put them safely in their placeholder. Next, flip this around and remove the battery case gently. Again, making sure no loose parts come flying out as we may not know where to put them back. Let's investigate to find the culprit that's causing the problem. It looks like oxidation here on the bot's contact pad. The green stuff, it's nasty. It acts like a layer of insulation. The battery is unable to pass its electricity through the pad to supply power to the devices on the bot. That's why the thermometer kept shutting down. 
The other pet looks clean. Let's clean up this one that's green. Before we do that, let's also examine the contacts on the battery case. Aha, uh -huh, same thing, the green thing, nasty. The other set is clean. We will clean the set that's green. Let's just see if the contacts correspond to one another. No shit Sherlock. Yes, they do. Okay, next, we're going to use a specialized electro contact cleaner to do the cleaning. This is the LPS Micro X. I used to use this when I was in the aviation industry. It must be good stuff, right? Aviation. But it's not exclusive. You can buy it off the shelf. If you don't have this, consider using an alcohol-based cleaner. Take note not to soak the devices on the board with water or any liquid for that matter. It may cause irreversible damage. This is the reason why I'm not spraying the contact cleaner directly on the board. I'm spraying it on a piece of toilet paper or cloth and then wipe it down. Wipe, 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 wipe. There you go, green stuff is being eliminated. Let's spray more contact cleaner. Wipe, 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 wipe. It's all gone now. The green stuff is gone, leaving behind a clean contact pad. There's some visible chafing marks, abrasion. Or maybe that's the effect of oxidation eating away the contact pad. I hope the conductivity is still intact. We shall see. Let's also clean the contacts on the battery case as well. Take this opportunity to clean all the contact points. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Wipe, wipe. Put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Okay, we're ready to put everything back together. Pick up the top case and flip it around so that we can check and ensure the buttons are in the correct orientation. Put it back down. Lift the board and place it down over the top case. Align the translucent pole to the hole in the top case and slot it in. Do the same for the other side. Check around to see if the board is sitting flat on the top case. Now, place a battery case over the top case. And clip down the bottom end first. You may take some filling around to find the groove. Once you find it, it will snap shut. Next, clip down the top end. Voila! Check all around to make sure everything is secure. Put the screw back. It's assembled, it's done. Now put the batteries back in, close the cap, and clip the cup on. Ready for testing. Power on. Good, it remains on. Try pressing the temperature button. Good. Very stable. Remains on. Still on. Great. It's working perfectly. No longer intermittent. $100 saved. Yay! Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share, like and share, like and share, and hit the super thanks button. Your support means a lot to me. See you in the next video. Bye.